Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for D-Style Starstream. This is made by Kotel Bukia, and I really enjoy building D-Style. They're just amazing. They're just cute, super deformed version of the Transformers. <laughs> We've got a really nice uh, box art here. Really cool. On the side here, kind of shows you that uh, this is the unpainted version and there are sticker sheets inside to add those decals which is surprising for Kozobukiya because they don't have decal sheet they hardly have that this retails about 3200 yen it is quite uh, pricey uh, especially for a, a simple kit like this but also if you think about it it's kind of hard to make a very simple kit that works and this works really well so after you're applying some uh, paint and decals and or in pal lines as well, you're gonna get something like this. You even have the plane there, the gimmicks, and how would you uh, interact with the other Disa with Megatron? There we go. And I think that's pretty much it for the box art. Let's take a look inside. All right. So uh, after building it, you're gonna get something like this. Uh, yeah, it does require a bit of paint. Well, just a little bit. Actually, start painting, and uh, there's clear red on the eyes here, but nothing to reflect on. I'm gonna try uh, painting it with silver on the back side, hopefully, that will help. Yeah, so far, it's great. Um, the only thing that's painted again is on the red stripe on the wing, otherwise, you have to fill in the gaps. You do have the decal sheet right here. Which I'll, I will apply once I've got certain parts painted and pound lined. Also, you have the jet mode right here, which is unpainted. So that's something I have to do as well. Yep. It does have a peg connection there for a stand. I think that's your typical 3mm peg connection. And there it goes. Anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and paint this guy. And I will continue from there. Alright, so a after a little bit of touch-up, you're going to get something like this. I just add a little bit of paint, a little bit of pound lines, and a little bit of top coat. <laughs> Alright, let's start for this, uh, his jet uh, mode. So for this one here, I added pound lines, added the red stripe. Remember, all of this is just that uh, normal uh, gray color, or a really light gray color. I uh, added the blue for the fins. Black on the thrusters, gold on the cockpit, or yeah, the windshield, <laughs> and a bit of uh, stripes there. Added the decals and a top coat. That's basically it. That's actually quite simple to do as long as you have the right color. But uh, then again, depending on what you have, yeah, yeah, it's actually not too bad. I like it. <laughs> so that's the plane. Or the jet mode. Now we have Star Scream here. Add a bit of pound lines here and there, along with the fins here to settle uh, pound lines. Added the decals. I did paint a couple of things. The vents here are in this uh, grayish white. I had to paint that with black. Same thing with the vents here on the bottom. I also uh, painted the uh, clear pieces with the silver on the back, kind of make it pop out more, like this here, as well as the eyes. When you shine the light on it, you kind of see it a little bit more. Otherwise, you have this, well, you have a black backing from the head, and it does not reflect light. So a good way to work on that is just paint silver. Let me pop this out. Take this out here. Yep, I, I just added silver. And I don't have to be really clean on this as long as I get that filled. That's good. So you get the neutral face here. Comes with other ones. You get the smiling face here. Very menacing. Same thing. Painted the back side. Let's put this on here. Temps of articulation. Never swivel. If you move this a little bit up, you can look down a little bit. Uh, not so much, even if you have this tilted up or all the way up, you're not gonna get much uh, looking up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because of how that thing is uh, hitting the back, which is not not too bad. 
All right, so uh, that's it for the head. Ah, sure. One more. <laughs> Forgot. That's uh. There's one more face. And uh, this is the screaming one. Star scream. On this one, you have to paint the black. I painted black. Add a top coat. There you go. And yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the rest of the body. Alright, moving on. Let's start with the back or continue with the backpack here. You have the wings, which is on a polycap. You can swivel back and forth or rotate it all together. Yep. There's actually two more Decepticon uh, stickers uh, this size, which you can put on the back side, but I'm just going to put it here. And I just follow how the orientation is. It's actually upside down since in the play mode, it's going to be like this. So I just went with it. <laughs> but you have the free, right? It's a sticker. You can place it wherever you want, even on the side here. Moving on, we have the shoulder here, which you can move up. You got that swivel. You got that elbow uh, 90 degree bend as well as a swivel also. It's just on a poly cap. You have these blasters on the side here, which are great. You can have him the certain pose shooting. Otherwise, you can actually pop them out and put on the actual hand right there. So either way, yeah, that's great. Not much details on this other than the molding and you can add a little bit of pan lines on the vents or even paint it. But I just pan lined it. There we go. Uh, moving on, we have the ball jointed uh, wrist here. It's mostly a swivel. You also get a spare hand which you can just swap out. There we go. And can have them pose uh, for a lot of Decepticons to attack. <laughs> or you can have them do some something silly depending on how you orient uh, this hand. Why? Why? <laughs> yep. Really cool that they added that. Uh, it's kind of like the same with uh, Megatron. You have that open mouth face. Yep. And it's great. Uh, other than that, let's go on. We have this chest piece here, which you can pop out. And you have the missiles inside. It's actually separate uh, plastic or color plastic, which is great. I should just say color piece. They're all plastic. <laughs> so this is a separate color piece, and that's great. Otherwise, I've seen some kits just being, I mean, it's all molded together, just red, to just save uh, another, you know, another thing to mold. But this is great. And likewise, I said, uh, you have to paint the vents here. There we go. The ways it's not ex non-existent unless you start moving it up, but then again, you end up popping it off. So not really much of a waist area there. There is a little gimmick where you can slide down the waist a little bit more just to kind of give you somewhat of a... I'm trying to pull this out, but I'm having a little difficulties. There we go. I think that's the limitation. But uh, this allows you to have Sarkrim sit down. <laughs> You have another degree uh, knee bend, which is great, and also it's a swivel. Yep. A few of the SDs that actually have knee articulation, and I like it. Otherwise, you have this angle uh, rotation here. It is on a straight peg with a polycap on the base, which you can tilt this. But one of the issues is you have this thrusters here. When you have this, uh, stretched out a little bit more it's lower than this and sometimes you have a tendency to tip over on the back so just depending on how you angle the feet just gotta find that sweet spot and well you kind of get the idea have him stand <laughs> yeah 
other than that, that's pretty much it uh, for this kit. It's very simple, but it does the job. It's very cute. And I like it. And it's one of the few times where actually I don't mind paying premium for something of something simple, but it works. It works really great. Yeah, again, uh, these kits are about 30 bucks or maybe less with the currency, but still you have to pay for shipping and tax <laughs> or customs sometimes. Luckily, I don't get hit by customs. But here, yeah. Here we go. That's uh, that's pretty much it for this review. Let me bring out the other ones I've built so far and just do a comparison. All right, here we go. I still like Megatron. I think Megatron is awesome. For one, they added that silver paint, which is great. I'm not actually not sure if that's actually the paint of the, uh, it's a paint or the color of the plastic, because it's nicely done. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, here we go. Here's the lineup so far, and uh, I think they're continuing on with more of the Decepticons. I cannot wait uh, for them to do uh, more of the Autobots. It'll be interesting, but I'm really liking this line so far. It's quite nice. <laughs> but uh, something tells me if they do make the other ones, are they going to make it somewhat of a scale? Will Bumblebee be a little bit smaller? Who knows? But yeah. Oh, I can't wait if they ever make Shockwave. That would be cool. Or even Soundwave. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's about it for the review for D-Style Starscream. It's a really nice kit. Highly recommend getting it. And that's about it. So until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.